Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be basically pressing the Windows 10 start button. And before you start, let's make sure we hit that subscribe button below. Do it now. Thank you very much for doing that. Okay, what you have to do is you have to import something called PY Auto GUI. So you need to import that before we can do this. So PY Auto GUI. There. So if you've not got that on board, because by default you probably won't have it on board. So you're going to have to download it from PIP. Okay, so we're going to do import. Whoop, what have I done there? Import time. Yeah, so for the PY Auto GUI, go into uh, your command line and download it from PIP. Okay, so we're going to start off, create the first function called start button. Okay, very simple. So we're going to print. Starting. Do, 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 do. Oops, if I spell it right. There we go. Starting. We're going to give it a little bit of a delay for one second. Sleep. There we go. And then we're going to say P Y Auto GUI dot press. And then win. Okay, so I'm just going to call that. So start button. We'll just call that program there. Save it and call it. Okay, there we go. And there we go. It's pressed the Windows Start button. Okay, let's uh, go into something. Let's do it. Let's press it multiple times, shall we? So create multi. It's going to make it more descriptive. Press multi times. This is a bit of a long description that normally I wouldn't do anything as long as that, but uh, I'm just trying to be extra clear here. So print. Pressing Okay, and now we're going to do time whoops not capital time dot sleep give it a one second pause and now we're going to create a loop. So we're gonna put it on a loop. So for let's say uh, X in range of, and I'm just going to do a hundred there so it will press it 100 times uh, PY auto GUI dot press and it's going to be win now all we have to do now is just to call it so that's going to be press multi times ok let's just move it down there to make it look a bit uh, neater, let's save it and let's press it, see uh, what the result is there we go, it will press it 100 times so just sit back and enjoy it for a couple of seconds OK, it's finished. Right, so we'll just take that off. Uh, we're going to do the last one, and I might actually lose control of the program when I do this, but uh, whatever. So we're going to do create the function. I'm going to just call it press loop like that. So we're just going to do a never-ending loop here. So I'm going to create something like x is equal to 0. And I'm going to use while x 
is not equal to 1 here it's going to be py auto GUI dot press that's going to be a win so this is going to loop until uh, forever and forever the 12th of never so press loop hopefully I will be able to get control of the program who knows so let's just save that and let's just run it okay there we go let's see if I can uh, get it off here we there we go do you want to kill it of course I do there we go so that will just loop forever and ever and ever so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you found it useful and uh, as always, thank you very much for watching my videos and uh, make sure you smash that like button and uh, hit the subscribe button. I think there's something like 80% uh, of people on this channel uh, are watching that unsubs unsubscribed and uh, you know, that's uh, that's not good enough guys. Just hit that uh, subscribe, subscribe button below. It's red and white and it doesn't bite. And I will catch you in another video. Bye-bye.